we are out here today on Fort Loud. Try to do a little video today. It's out here playing around with some camera stuff. Got my old trusty Nikkor 300 millimeter. Got my D300S. And we're out here on Greater Fort Loudon Reservoir. Just kind of scoping things out for the fishing and the photography. The folks down bank right there just caught a big channel catfish. I got some pictures of it, so we'll uh, we'll throw some of them pictures up there for you to take a look at. scoping out the bird activity out here a little bit and uh, hoping I might see the old great blue heron around here on the bank somewhere today but I don't see him but we're gonna look for some birds right here we're gonna walk around here for a minute should be something around here to photograph we'll keep an eye out right here certain times of the year underneath this mimosa tree right here I see a lot of hummingbirds, but most of the, all the blossoms are gone now, so I'm sure there ain't too many hummingbirds around. This is right along the lake, so I figured I'd walk right through here, and I'm hearing a lot of bird activity. Seeing a few mockingbirds here and there. But really, that's about it so far, just the mockingbirds. Sun's trying to go in and out, so... I left my tripod back in the car, so right now in this area, kind of marginal for hand holding, I bumped the ISO up to over 500 here to get a reasonable shutter speed. The sun would break in them clouds right there, it'd be kind of nice to give a little bit lighting because this is kind of really kind of nice back in through here, right along the lake. It's good habitat for the birds. And I'm sure at times you could have a pretty good success looking for birds back through here. A lot of uh, food and stuff. Kind of pretty, really. That's nice. They leave a little habitat. You got some berries and honeysuckle. Different things for the birds. That time of year we should have some fall warblers moving through right about now. I guess that's some mockingbirds I'm hearing up there in those pine trees. It's not that good on the bird calls yet. Hoping to get better at recognizing what I hear. But uh, I'm sure there's a few little fall warblers around here somewhere. Let's walk down this edge. Been walking around kind of looking for something to photograph. I've been snapping a few shots of random things just to kind of test this 300 millimeter out here in this uh, real world situation. Uh, oh boy, that hurt. Painful. Did find a, a lovely couple up the road there walking their little doggy. So they were kind enough to let me try out uh, my lens doing a portrait of uh, Zoe, I think it was. And uh, and a portrait of them so but with the 300 millimeter we have big cloud bank move over and kind of mess the lighting up a little bit if i had a tripod it would have been a lot better but with only the 300 for a portrait lens i had to back way up and uh, bump the iso up quite a bit so it'll be kind of grainy i'm sure software could clean it up a little bit but we're just out here having fun, trying to find something to photograph. And there's a, I believe that's a cormorant right up there. Let me see if I can get a picture of him. Right here real quick. Line. He's gone back under. He'll come back up in a second. He's really fairly close to the bank up here. This bird out here, let's see what he is. Ow. 
painful right there. Go up here and set this down right here. You know, we got some kind of a, a bird out here. I'm not sure what he is, but I got my big 300 right here. there I'm not sure but uh, he's too far off really but next time maybe we'll get a chance at him right there watching this guy over here on the other side uh oh hang it just missed a shot right there darn it here goes that corner and it came up right there next to the bank it's out there in that lighting pretty good right there right now beautiful lighting right now just too far away Coming closer though. Sneak down here on the other side of this uh, butterfly right there. But we've got all kinds of stuff going on all of a sudden. Lighting's coming to life. Got this cormorant thingy out here in the beautiful lighting. focused on him or not he came up right here against the bank I've been ready for him where I was standing right there I could have got a pretty decent shot of him as he was skimming across the water when they take off they make this cool I don't know they skid across that water kind of slow takeoff a slow lumber takeoff which is kind of good for for me there trying to get a photo I hate that I miss that little opportunity but that's the way it goes but Here's a osprey out here right now, my friends. Yeah, we had a good opportunity with that osprey right there. I tell you what, it uh, came down out. We came down out there a couple of times in the water. I'm not sure if I got in focus or not. Since I'm just practicing, this is all kind of new to me. Uh, exciting though. Uh, hopefully he'll come back here in a minute. But uh, I love uh, the lighting right now. It's beautiful as you see. It's opened up and. It's just perfect right now to capture something interesting. Kind of darting in and out of the uh, clouds right there. Got some kind of a big white bird over there. I don't know if that's... Yeah, there goes the osprey down way over there. Two ospreys over there. sure what that is right there it's kind of white it might be it's not a great blue heron I think it's a white egret maybe I don't know what that is yeah I think that's a maybe that's what they call a white egret nice lighting right there where it's landing out in that inlet if a person was out on that inlet right now out on the end of the peninsula you could have got a pretty good shot of him he just landed out there on the other side of that peninsula which was a three to five hundred millimeter standing out on the end of that peninsula right there you could get some really good shots of that white egret right there 
Đấy. He landed. Way over there, of course he's too far, so I'll put that little photo up there maybe just to show you. But he's in a good spot with that late afternoon lighting for somebody out on that point right there. Just had this great blue heron out here and had some amazing opportunities, but my inexperience right there, I'm not sure how it will go. I uh, situation is he's right down here where you see that log in the water out there. About right there. I was back over this other direction facing back into the sun so backlight so I'm getting a real fast shutter speed well you know one two thousandth one four thousandth of a second and this lighting is going to put him in a silhouette you know it's going to expose for all that brightness out there so that was a trick so what I would do is I swing the camera like back off in here to a darker section lock the exposure on that and then swing back at about a one five hundredth of a second with this 300 millimeter handheld which i'm hoping will give enough of uh of a shutter speed to uh i'm gonna photograph this boat right here as he's going by bump that iso up a little bit right here see what I could do to get a silhouette of that boat right there but uh, so anyways on that great blue heron it uh, it's pretty neat opportunity right there you don't know if you want to expose and let the uh, see them go into silhouette you know and then try to be kind of artistic with it or if you try to expose to get the blue heron properly exposed then everything's going to wash out in the in the water and back behind him so it's kind of a tricky little thing right there to uh you know there's just different variables is really what it comes down to it's just however you want to do it really is what it comes down to be a little artistic with it and let him go into silhouette but then you get that nice painterly effect on the water Blood of goats will wash you white If I was his brother, I'd have lied